Hi, Daniel here and welcome to another one of my videos. Um, today I'm basically making a video about how you change the admin port, as you can see in the URL bar at the top. Uh, usually it runs on port 80, but I'm running it on 81. The reason why I'm doing that um, is because this runs on a full machine, server machine, that also runs other stuff on port 80 under the Nginx web server and I have various virtual hosts like website whatever dot local. I, that's how I do it. I'm not running on a Raspberry Pi like this. This is an older Raspberry Pi and I, I did notice it ran a bit slower on this. Although it works, it's just a bit slow. So I'm running it on a better machine. Um, so as you can see, everything's working on it. It's taking the DNS requests, it's blocking stuff, it's working absolutely fine. Right, so if you do want to run it on a different port and you are using the included light HTTP um, web server, what you'll need to do is I've already done I've already done this video and I've, I'm just doing it again. So you need to cd into this directory here, etc. Light HTTPD. And as if we see what's in it, there's a config file. So what we need to do is I'm using Nano. You can use whatever text editor you want. But if you haven't got Nano, you can do app dash get install Nano. I think this is running Debian or Debian. Um, so we want to edit that config, so we'll edit that, and what we need to do is go down and find server port. Now obviously I've changed mine to 81, and as you can see, you might just have a server IP up there called, like, for example, 192.168.1.2, and it might be, that be it without changing, it might be .81 after it, but I've set up a custom thing here, but you can do that kind of thing, it's not, it's not hard to do. Um, so yeah, I've changed it to 81 and I'd save that file and it'd be done So let's just save let's just save this file So control X and I go Y etc. It tells you what to do on the screen and then I would restart the light HTTP web server It's got D after it for the actual name and it's restarted and It's still working if I refresh it sort of thing. The only thing to bear in mind about this is when you do update pi hole so when you go Pi hole dash up that there will update pi hole and all the files. The only thing you need to bear in mind when you change this, I'm not sure if they're going to make it so it ask you what port you want it on, is that it does say in this file that files will be automatically overwritten when you update pi hole. Now, there's not that many Pi Hole updates, and you don't have to keep updating Pi Hole, but obviously it's nice to get the latest version. I always like to get the latest version of things, especially things like PFSense, because they've got some really nice features with the graphs, and actually, they've actually, this latest version here, they've updated it as different colors. So you just have to bear that in mind that if you update it, you're gonna need to change that port, port number in here all the time. That's the only downside with doing this, but, if you do want to run it, run multiple web servers, etc., then it's it's a way around it. I mean, personally, it doesn't bother me bother me that much. But I just thought I'd make that quick video, just showing you how you do it. Um, it's a simple thing, but if you've been trying to do it and you you can't figure it out, then I'm I'm hope I hope this video helps. If you've got any questions, please ask me. Thank you for watching.